Alright, we're rolling, by the way. <clears throat> Sweet. This is how it all came together. Take two. Back in 2009, um, before it was known as Comatose, it was a project known as Digital Nights that screenwriter Andrew Johnson had put together. Um, at the time it was more of a short story than a screenplay, but we worked at it for the last couple of years and um, branched it out into more of a three-act structure. I don't even want to get into that carnage. She said she was the one. <laughs> wow. You say a lot of shit. It was one of those projects where I was really fascinated about the decision-making process of the protagonist. One of those guys where, you know, on the outside he seemingly has it all together, but there's just something eating at him from the inside. I met up with producer Mark Andre at one of his screenings and told him about the idea. Later on we, um, we sat down and talked more about it. I explained um, how I had a bit of a unique way of approaching it and uh, needed someone to help manage the micro-budget aspect of it. And he was on board, he was excited to help out. That allowed me to focus more on one of the bigger obstacles when putting this together, and that was trying to find a cast for the over 20 roles Comatose required. And uh, while I was worrying about that and getting that organized, Mark had already put together and found some really good crew for the department heads. With a project like this, Working at such a small scale but demanding such high quality from people, we had to find people that were more or less willing to not just be the department head but to be their own labor, to be their own PA, so to speak. Because with a production like this, any weak link or any big ego would really just slow us down and you know potentially shut us down because we had very little resources and money to pull this thing off. Luckily, Mark found those people and put it together. The way I wanted to approach uh, casting was I really wanted to find our Perry, um, him being the protagonist of the film and being the central focal point. I knew almost all my casting decisions would have to be based off who I could get as Perry. Thankfully, uh, Andrew Piggott walked into the door and absolutely killed it. He, uh, he was phenomenal in the rehearsal and he was an absolute professional and a pleasure to work with through the whole process. When designing a visual treatment uh, for a film like Comatose, you have a lot of flexibility. Um, Comatose doesn't really fit into one genre, so I didn't have to kind of stick to any rules, so to speak. At the time, I was really inspired by films like Taxi Driver, Enter the Void, Breaking the Waves. Um, and when I was interviewing DPs, oftentimes they had no idea what I was talking about, which was a little frustrating. Luckily, uh, Tim had heard of most of the films I had referenced, and when we sat down to talk about the project, he got it right away. He was um, definitely eager to jump on board a project like this. He has a real um, get shit done type of attitude that, you know, we couldn't have done it any other way. When you attempt to do a movie in 10 days with no money, you better expect some problems to happen. That being said, we really viewed these problems as creative challenges. We had to uh, every day expect something to be different, not to be there, or to not work. And with that in mind, we, we tackled all of them pretty passionately. Everyone on the team knew their role, but was willing to give uh, good input and be um, constructive more than critical for the most part. It comes down to you know really trusting your team and trusting your actors. I spent a lot of time rehearsing with my actors before we went to camera, and that was um, I think one of the biggest factors in us being successful in pulling this off. It saves a lot of time on the day when you already have that trust and that tone and that scenario figured out for the scene. So when um, problems do arise, you're not panicking and worrying about that. You're just worrying about the problem at hand. You know, completely and utterly in total debt to my crew and my talent for sticking by and, and doing this with me. It was, a, it was a great process and I hope to work with all of them again.